You're listening to Edging the Truth. Welcome, everybody. Episode 30 of Edging the Truth. We're here with the guys, and we're here to discuss a banger of a topic. Well, maybe. <laughs> Did we go to the moon? So on July 16th, 1969, Apollo 11 launched, and with it, the mission to put the first humans on the moon. The question is, did we actually do that? We're in a race with uh, some other countries to get to the moon first, with China and with Russia, and we wanted to, to show our dominance and get there first. So supposedly the Eagle landed on July 20th, and about six and a half hours later, Armstrong and Aldrin became the first two men to supposedly, allegedly, walk <laughs> on the moon. <laughs> we'll start off the episode with my guys here. We got Dave, we got Brian, we got Fudgy, and we're going to talk about whether we did this, whether we think we did this. So I, I think yeah. I'm just going to start off hot. We're going to go around the room. We're just going to get a, a census of... Before we get into the facts or into the, the arguments on whether or not we did or didn't, what before this episode starts, what is your percentage of did we land on the moon? We'll start with you, Dave. Oh, I'm I'm probably at ninety five percent. We did. Uh, I don't have a whole heck of a lot of doubt. Uh, I love some of the conspiracy theories about about you know Stanley Kubrick maybe. Uh, filming this for the government and all that kind of stuff but that's just fun to me uh I, yeah i think most of this stuff it feels debunkable uh but you know maybe maybe one of you has some evidence that will make me change my mind but yeah i'm pretty sure we did there, there, we can see it with the telescope <laughs> andy yeah i think we did that shit dog um <laughs> i'm with i'm with dave i think probably about 90 percent for me um, watched a, a lot of cool videos. I watched a documentary a, a couple weeks ago on this uh, when I fucked up and thought this was the topic we were going to be doing. Um, <laughs> Me, that too, was, Me too, that, that was super interesting. And, um, you know, there are some there are some interesting things that the conspiracy theory people have brought up, but almost everything I've seen has been you know debunked and there's been a pretty reasonable explanation for for why uh whether it was a, a picture that looked that had a flash in it that looked like a can light mm -hmm. whether it was the you know the lander not you know leaving enough of a crater on the <laughs> moon when it landed um just how they took certain pictures and shit shadows bunch of different stuff the flag waving um, there it's, it's a pretty cool conspiracy theory and I'm excited that we're talking about this one today. Uh, cause it's, it's an, it's one of the episodes where it's like a legit, like conspiracy theory. Cause you know, I always love when we get to actually do these kind of episodes, but I don't know. I'm probably 90%. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it happened. <laughs> All right, Brian, what do you think? Uh, a hundred percent happened. Yeah, I don't think there's no ninety. I've I've, see, I've seen the footprint. I've seen the landing site with telescope. I've seen it. You've been to the moon. Whole, You've been to the moon and seen special it. Special on Griff at Griffith Park Observatory where they're like, come and see it. And we also I went I looked through the giant powerful telescope and saw it. You see it. So it's there. There's reflectors that we installed on the moon that you can actually hit and reflect off of. It's there. They're there. You can't. It's I, I, my life. You know, I live a life of black and whites. And that's, uh, you know, that's what it is. It, it's Whoa. there. It happened. It, it's, uh, you know, right. It's, it is It is what it is. We hit it. We were there. We did it. All the other stuff is just, it, this is an OG conspiracy theory. I would say this yes. is like one of the top five of the original originals. And it would have to be a hell of a conspiracy for the 12 people that went to the moon, the 400,000 employees that worked at NASA yeah. and yep. all these. And so, yeah, and, he, and you're telling me, especially like if they actually did film this, that all the people that were in the production kept their mouths shut for 50 years. No, 
No, not at all. The moment they had a union dispute, they'd have been like, oh, yeah, well, I'll tell you about the the moon landing shit if you don't, you know, come on. No, this happened. It happened. It's cut and dry. Like, yes, there are many, 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 many theories about not going to the moon and new ones all the time. And it's just we were there. The only reason we haven't been back there is because geopolitical stuff and money and our priorities changed. Uh, but, you know, even then, uh, who one of these billionaire people is going to go to the moon next year or the year after or whatever with their private stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and, uh, they're, they're going to land in basically the same spot. Dude, so, isn't uh, Steve Aoki going on that on that moon mission? I don't cool. know. If, if I had that I, kind of money, I'd be like, yeah, put me on the moon mission. <laughs> I'll, I'll do some looking while we're talking. Well, so I, I think that the biggest thing is that with any conspiracy, there's got to be a reason behind it. Like, why why is the conspiracy out there, right? And I think that in this case, you have to look at the reason why the U.S. wanted to be the first one on the moon, right? We did want to assert our dominance. We wanted to say that we were the global super superpower. And so for it to happen the way that it happened, when it happened, is really an interesting idea. And and the, the reason why I bring that up is because I do believe that we have gone to the moon. Uh, with the reasons that Brian said, you know, you can look through a telescope, you can see certain, certain features that are still on the moon from when humans were on the moon. Uh, the the uh, laser reflectors that are on the moon, that are installed that you can bounce lasers off. I mean, I feel like those are pretty strong proof that we've been to the moon. However, my kind of side conspiracy is maybe we didn't go when we said we went, but maybe we went a little bit later. And I'm, and because there was there were several moon landings, you know, there were there were several different. Um, off to space and off to the moon. And then there was this one that kind of like ended the the space wars, right? Mm -hmm. This is the one that stopped the other countries from really even trying to get to the moon because the U.S. had done it. So that is another like little side piece that I want to put in there. It's like, did we go when we went? Like when when we said we went? Um, By the way, Long, is this a original theory of yours or is- Yeah, what's your percentage? Uh, so this is just my thought on it. Like I, not, I haven't you haven't read I haven't read this anywhere. So I, I haven't read yeah. this anywhere. This is my own I like, like it. Like, like my idea behind it is like obviously I feel like we've been to the moon. I mean there's there's different So you're hundred percent. You're hundred percent, you're not ninety percent, you're on ninety five percent. I I am I am a hundred percent that we went to the moon. I okay. am my I am 100% the, the we went to the moon. I think the, 90 the, was a bad number. I'd like to go back and change it to 100%. But also, Brian, I don't know. I'd like to be a little ambiguous for the show. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to do Jesus that. Christ. You... Now, here's the thing. I am 70% oh. that we went when we said we went. Oh. I, I think that there's a really good likelihood that the date that is said, and even, 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 that came out weird. Even the idea that it was shot, the way that it was shot, that those really were the first steps, and that it wasn't actually done in a in a movie studio somewhere or in a, a big warehouse. And there's a couple of things that I'll bring up uh, that I kind of found interesting. That I was like, maybe those were not the first shots the humans walked on the moon. You know, uh, there's like a few the interviews that happened with. Uh, Buzz Aldrin throughout the years where he was like, yeah, you didn't see that happen. You know, that was not, that was not real, you know? And it, you know, he gets back and he asks them like, oh, that isn't really what I said. But then you go and you watch the interview, like there was an interview with him on, on Letterman where he was like, yeah, it was the greatest lie ever told, you know? And it's just stuff like that. That kind of is like, was it really what we saw? So uh, with that being said, I would like to, release some of my evidence that I've uncovered that says maybe we didn't go when we said we went. Yeah, um, let's hear it. The it first thing long. is Project Slam Dunk. So this is an interesting uh, project that was brought up. There was a man that was on his deathbed and he tells his son about this project where they taped the moon landing and only 15 people 
were able to enter the hangar where this was created and that's where it was filmed and he he goes through and he talks about the names of the people that were allowed to be there um including up to the president of the united states and nobody else was allowed in this hangar and they talked about the dust that was brought in and and all that stuff and so you think about this and you think about the turmoil that the u.s was in on this on this fight to to make it to the moon first and here we're sitting in a country where movies and special effects are kind of you know really predominantly brought up from from here why couldn't we do this it, it took all the pressure off of going there and and like making that a deadline right uh so that's the first thing project slim dunk there's a lot a lot of information out there that i implore our viewers to go and check out some information about project slam dunk read about it um and just kind of think about you know was this something that could have easily been produced and you know allowed some of the the stress of trying to get there when we get there so i have questions i, I have yeah. i have questions so is there documented proof of operation slam dunk existing like is not it, that, does that appear find. on a piece of paper any anywhere it's just a at this point it's a story from one guy to his son on his deathbed and that's that's the whole entire evidence of <laughs> of that I, no no because i mean this is very typical right that conspiracy theories yeah. come from a single, single point source. of information and 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 when we get to stanley kubrick we're going to find that's the case too when it comes to this it's one person with one idea that then it becomes part of the larger conversation for everybody afterwards. Well, what's interesting is while it, there's nothing written down anywhere, some of the evidence that the father talked to the son about uh, while uh, in the story, the son was able to find like pieces of evidence around the house, like his mm -hmm. pen, his metal pen with the, the information on the metal pen and stuff like that to show like, okay, he was like, there's at least some semblances of truth. And I think that's something interesting to talk about is that with even the biggest fabrications, it's conspiracies, there's usually intertwinings of the truth in there, yeah. you know, in some point. And so, especially with this conspiracy in general, like, did we go to the moon? Yes or no? I think that for majority of us here, we're going to say yes. But that could be just a portion of the truth intertwined on whether or not we went in July of 1969, you know? We are only at the edge of the truth. Exactly. <laughs> uh, my second piece, uh, Buzz Aldrin mentioning in several occasions that the moon landing never happened, you know, and he mentions it in passing. And at one point, he's even asked to put his hand on a Bible and say, you know, we did, we did it. And he told the guy he was going to punch him in the face. So I, I think that that's an interesting thought. Like, he, he, I thought he, he did is punch not somebody. willing to state. What was that? I thought he, he did, did punch, punch somebody, somebody. But that was a different guy. Oh, he, yeah, actually, yeah. he punched more than one person. <laughs> a lot of people came at that dude sideways about a lot of stuff. So yeah, but if, if he's I was, still a soldier. If I was a person that like landed on the moon and I've got some guy that's like, "Come on, just put your hand on the Bible, just say that you did it," and I did it, I'm gonna just do that. Like, why? Yeah, Why and go for how through... many hundreds of fucking wing nuts do you have to do that for on a daily basis that come up to you, though, man? It's like, why do you have to prove what you did to every single person that gets in your face? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Well, it's and I like, feel like, yeah, I feel like in the last okay, oh, few prove years. Prove you graduated from high school. Oh, prove you did this. Yeah. Prove you did that. Prove you work where you work. Like, I, you know, I, yeah. like, especially if for everybody's yeah. in your face like that every single day for 30, 40 years, it's like, yeah, it's pretty, I'm old. not going to fucking sit here and, and, and put my hand on this Bible. Cause you don't believe it. I believe it. Yeah. I was there, you know, yeah. I think there is and, an interview with buzz in the last few years before he, he did pass away. Finally. Correct. I yeah. Mm. Uh, I feel like if, 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 if my brain is saying that he passed in the last couple of years of you know but that could be wrong but i do feel like i saw an interview where somebody no, he's said alive. to him he's still alive. Alive. Where, where somebody said to him can we just squash this once and for all and he said yeah let's do it 
we landed on the moon, Neil and I. You know, like it, I, I feel like there is also in in that there are interviews of him, maybe jokingly referring to it as a hoax. Uh, I also feel like there's enough interviews with him where he's like, "This is so fucking stupid," you know, and I'm not even going to acknowledge that it would be fake. Uh, this was years of my life, you know, preparing to go on on this and many other missions. Let's not forget, it wasn't just that one time that he went to space. Um, yeah. Also, you talked about a Letterman interview. I mean, it's, it's a comedy late night show. Like, it is I only very well, it just very was, well could have been a bit. Like, yeah, I only mentioned it because it was it was a very clear moment. But he had several interviews like that. It was just yeah. that one that it was like kind of just stuck out to me, um, just because the way that it came came across. And it was like it was kind of nonchalant. It wasn't. It didn't seem like a joke. It was just like, sure. not fun. Like, yeah, you know. So, like he let it slip almost. Yes, yes. Um, another piece that's interesting: the technological ability to just not make it to the moon, but then to be able to broadcast it was almost too good to be true at the time, right? Especially yes. in that moment in 1969, and Buzz Aldrin admitted. Um, on I think it was actually Conan O'Brien telling him that he was watching an animation of what actually supposedly happened, and I know I know it's again Conan O'Brien late night show again, uh, but you know that's interesting. Like the the idea that you know you weren't actually watching the first steps on the moon. Now we all have seen the well, not all, but like Brian had seen the footprints actually on the moon itself. But you don't know when that footprint actually was left there, you know? And so that's why I yes. think maybe it didn't happen when, when we thought it happened. Um, and then the well, last we... piece that's kind of interesting is that all the technology and files were destroyed. That, you know? It's a little bit wacky. I won't everything. disagree with why that. That's everything a little destroyed? wacky. No, it's not. I, it's totally I, not. I know, I know that... <laughs> Come on, Brian. No, it's, it's, one. No, number it's one. Totally not. Okay, I just want to point out Brian's eyes right now. No, no. Totally normal. We have a totally national, we have a, the, our government has a national archive. Every letter that the president writes is kept. Every document from every government agency is kept. Why would those things not be kept? Doesn't make sense to me. Well, it's just like anything else. Like, why do they get rid of like every single computer they have every couple of years? Why do they do all that stuff? Because it's out with the old, and that's really they purge government stuff on a constant annual basis. Yeah, but they keep the data. Yeah, yeah, but I think maybe they just went too far. You know, I think that's just maybe bureaucracy, bureaucratic slip up. But I mean, no, they they purge shit all the time, all the time. We know they love to shred. Especially what you're saying is that we purged all of the information. All of the technology and all of the data from the first time that we landed on the moon. Yeah, because we a didn't moment, think anything of it. A historic moment. But that, that pretty much giant the entire leap world. for mankind. For yeah, but if sake. you look at it, they went to the moon how many times, and they destroy the data from every single time. But did they go on 1969? I mean, are we are are we in semantics of are we are we? Are we <laughs> Do we land on the moon or when do we land on the moon? I'm just trying right, to look, solidify. Look, so I, I have a conspiracy I, I, I talk theory. To, I talked to okay. my parents, okay? My parents were alive when this happened. My grandparents were alive when this happened. This was a national event. People spent two or three days glued to their TVs on this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you saw them go into space. They had the, yeah. the, the, the They went to space, okay? You saw them come back and land. You saw them pull the shit out of the capsule and show you all the rocks and shit they brought back. I mean, like, you know, like it's it, it, this was a national event that happened and everybody lived on every single piece and second. And yeah, like was the technology like where it should be? Yeah, that's because NASA was supposed to be ahead of its time. NASA is the one that made so much of the shit down to Velcro. I mean, they invented a lot of this stuff, including a lot of the broadcast technology we use today. So we still use a lot of the same broadcast technology today because that's just how waves are transmitted and shit's, you know, decoded. That was all NASA. So, well, you know, it's it, it 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 
so the entire population of the world lived and died by this for four days. And then we all go like, oh, no, they didn't. No, nobody watched this. No, it's like, go talk to your parents. Go talk to your grandparents. They remember it. It was an event. They watched yeah. it. You know, my like dad was just... a newsman at, in that year, and and he worked for the local CBS affiliate. And he, this was every. I mean, he collected all of the stuff from it. He bought a lunar lander model kit that never got built. He, you know, he saved the the newspaper covers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was without a doubt something that that. And and I'm with you about the technology, by the way, Brian. I I feel like. Uh, the government having technology that consumers don't is a given, uh, <laughs> just period. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I'm I'm okay with any of the, the, the maybe this is ahead of its time technologically and all those sorts of explanations. But I'm also uh, I'm also of the opinion that I, I like the logic lung that there is a reason to fake it. There's a genuinely good reason to fake it, and that's to be- create less pressure. To, to back off the other countries to say we did it means they stop working on it, which keeps us ahead of the game, even though we haven't landed. Uh, I feel like if there's any shred of truth to a conspiracy theory about the moon landing, it has to, it has to come from the political uh, aspects of it, the, the whys of it, not the, yeah. is it feasible or possible or could we get there or not? Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. We which, did. We know that I think, uh, which but, I feel yeah. I hate that fucking well we didn't have the technology at that time we were gonna have to figure it out if what we had I- anyway you know what I mean yeah. like if if they I didn't mean, we they would have found they out and, math yeah you know, they didn't invent math to do this like yeah. it's it's it, this this was all ground every single piece of it from end to end from surviving in space to landing on another planet to taking off from said planet coming back that was all new and yet maybe there was a uh, a moon you know hangar somewhere with a set and stuff but yeah there probably was a couple of them for training for training yeah, have, absolutely. what you have to do there so it's like yes yeah. yeah, so was that really a hidden top secret filming location or was it a hidden top secret moon training location you know yeah. it's just that's the that's the essence and you know it's just all of this stuff has just been debunked and like we're literally trying to generate new theories when we all agreed that oh yeah we went to the moon and now we're just mm-hmm. arguing about semantics yeah I mean, like, well and what's so- even more crazy is now they're putting like fucking raspberry pies and shit in these in these things in this in the new spaceships like it's it, it's all w- the c- private sector has now been able to go further with creating new technology than because nasa hasn't been doing this right nasa was since that they're, they've like, been underfunded the challenger this, yeah yeah when the challenger time, blew was up, overfunded was yeah yeah and now nasa is underfunded we've been sh- we've been shooting ourselves on russian rockets for 15 20 years now because nasa's been underfunded and won't go forward and that's why the private sector is doing it so yeah it's like yeah so that's the reason nobody's been back to the moon the chinese are trying real hard to go to the moon real hard and they are you know they're even struggling and they have unlimited resources so by the way fudge you are correct steve aoki is going to be on that eight man i knew it it's gonna fly (laughs) they are not landing they're flying by the moon apparently sure but yes they are going to the moon and steve aoki is one of the dudes then I guess let's get out of the semantics. If they were going to fake it, why why would we fake it? I think we talked about earlier. We wanted to beat the fucking Russians. We this just all comes down to the Russians. It, it all comes down to we needed to establish ourselves as a world power. We um, and I is it a do, is it a dom thing, boys? Is is the USA <laughs> a dom? Uh, uh, um, but I don't know. I think. It's all yeah. It's all, it was all politically driven at the time. I think the the sense of pride in Americans that you know we're the best. We got to be number one at everything. So, in my opinion, I think they were going to figure it out one way or another. I mean, we needed well, a win. Let's not forget well, what's yeah. going on. We had uh, Vietnam. Who was the president? Going on. Who yeah. yeah? Who was the president at this time? Yeah. Well, and where Anybody did know? it start? Right. Anybody know who the president with, was? Starts Just... with Kennedy. 
Yeah. This no, this Richard Nixon yeah. was the president Nixon. at the time we yeah. landed on the moon. Okay. And I don't know if you know anything about that guy. He had a lot going on in his fucking presidency. <laughs> <Yeah. okay? laughs> but there is a, there is a, a video was, of him he was fighting a war. He was doing all this yeah. stuff. He was meeting Elvis. You know, he was doing all these things. <laughs> and he was talking on the phone he, with us with the astronauts. He needed a W. Yeah. And this was he if you read back in his memoirs and stuff, he was pushing this so hard. He was the one pushing the schedule to be faster, even dangerously. So they want to do this a year or two later. And he was like, no, bitches, do it now because yeah. America needs this W in the Cold War because we're getting our asses kicked in Vietnam. And I need you know, we need some kind of a, a national win. That's why it was such a big thing for all of us, because at the time. We were we so divided it. on the war. We needed this coming well, together the, moment as America. You'd had the Cuban Missile Crisis, right? I mean, like it's it, it's a multitude of like not great stuff going on when it comes to America and other other powers in the world, and 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 the red the Red Scare stuff was real. Like, re, especially, I mean. I, you know, when I was a kid, it was at its height, right? That's like when, you know, Rocky Four came out and it's all, you know, a, a Superman Four came out and it's about nuclear power and blah, blah, blah. Everything is about the nuclear arms race. And so the narrative shifted, though, because by that point, the space race part of it was over and it now is it now became that. Right. Um, maybe that's the whole point. <laughs> so what? I have one last piece. For my my conspiracy portion, okay. on why I think we went later than when we went than when we said we did. So we have had six manned missions to the moon, starting with this this one in July of nineteen sixty nine. Each time the man has stepped foot on the moon, wait, we so we have did placed... go. So we did go in sixty nine. <laughs> no, suppo- <laughs> Each time we've gone, allegedly. Each time we've gone, we have placed a flag, an American flag, on the moon. Mm-hmm. To this day, only five flags can be found on the moon. The sixth flag is not visible. Because the sixth flag fell over. It's at, it's at, the, it's at the theme park. No, the, sixth, no, the, the sixth flag fell over because the rocket knocked the flag over when it took off. That's an that's a established go. story. There you go. Allegedly. Well, I- I, 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 just, I mean, honestly, like, how do you know that? Who's going to say is, that? Do I need to take you to Griffith Park Observatory and have them point the telescopes for you? Jeez. At the flag yes, that's yeah, down yeah, that they yeah, can't yeah. see. They, they, they got. If you get a good telescope, you can see it. You can't see it with they your home telescope. They say you telescope. cannot see the the sixth flag. Yeah, that's with what your I'm home saying. Telescope. Yes. <laughs> well, I, just, I would just like to that, say. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say I, for the record, the people that. Accused NASA of faking the moon landings, arguing that they were staged by Hollywood based um, on a script by Arthur C. Clarke and directed by Stanley Kubrick. That's the Flat Earth Society. <laughs> okay, Hold let's on. just let's just put this in perspective. The people that yeah. since 1980 have forwarded this idea are the Flat Earth Society. <laughs> are you a flat earther, Mikey? Is the moon flat no, too? I, I have are they yeah. both flat? I have multiple reasons. Why I think we've gone to the moon, like there, the rocks that were brought back are 200 mil- million years older than any modern day Earth rock, you know. So sure. like, obviously that came from out, out, out space, you know. Yeah. Uh, the footprint prints on the moon match, you know, because there was actually a, a lot of people like, oh, look at the boots; they don't match the the footprint that's on the moon, but it's because they actually put like another like secondary shoe underneath their the, or over their other boots. So the footprints prints do match and you can see them from, you know, uh, like Brian said, yeah. from, from the telescope, even though you can't see the, the sixth flag, um, the flag not waving on the moon. Like they said, you know, like it was just because there was a rod, you know, I mean, there's plenty of the reasons force of that... them shoving it down there, <laughs> you know, when you, <laughs> Shove the rod down. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that, rod shoving. There's, there's tons of really reasons. Really gotta get it in there. <laughs> that we went to the moon, or that you can Clip it. argue against any of the arguments on the moon. But I think we did go to the moon. I just personally don't think we went when we said we went. 
And that's so, so when do you think we went? Now. Yeah, when did we go when then? When do you think we went? Yeah. I think I think we probably went on the second mission. That supposedly went. So they went on like 12. They went what, Apollo 19, 12 19, actually went to the 70, right? Yeah. So on the second mission, they shot all the footage from the first mission? No. Well, yeah, some of the pictures you get from the moon, I think, are from that second mission. But I think a lot of the first mission maybe was telegraphed here on in, in you know, a warehouse. So have, you, have you guys heard the conspiracy theory? So obviously the conspiracy theory that Kubrick directed the whatever, the filming on a set, where, whether it's in the desert or a hangar. But have you heard also the... Also funded by Walt Disney. Yeah. Have you heard the theory that he tried to admit it, like in The Shining? Have you heard about this, yes. Red? Yes. Oh, I so, watched this whole movie. So the little the little kid, yeah. the little kids wearing the Apollo, the Apollo Eleven sweater. He's playing what is it with cars or trains or something, and it looks like the the launch pad. Um, they changed the Kubrick changed the the room number to two thirty seven because it's what. Two two hundred thirty seven thousand miles to the moon. Um, there was a box with the number thirty nine on it that had some significance as well. But I didn't know if you guys had seen that theory. I thought that was super interesting. It's there's an entire movie called Room Two Three Seven that is a documentary about the many theories behind what The Shining means, and it's crazy because the movie kind of just. It's it's kind of an art film visually, um, but there's lots of people talking, and and what you're hearing is all these conspiracy <laughs> theorists put out their conjectures of what this means, and not necessarily about conspiracy theories, but just you know trying to read into the movie's meaning. Um, but a big portion of that movie is exactly what what you're talking about. And uh, again, though, when does this start? 1980. Right. This theory comes out in 1980. So I don't know. I feel like why would they are they saying that did nobody think this happened until Stanley Kubrick made The Shining and that raised all these red flags for people, critical thinking people. <laughs> and they went, wait a minute. I know what The Shining is not a Stephen King novel. It's about the moon landing. I don't buy that. I don't buy it. I've seen the making of the Shining documentary. It does not look like it's about the moon landing. No. <laughs> I agree with that. So, all right. So we, we've gone around. I think that we're all pretty certain that we did go to the moon. Um, sure. Is there any piece of evidence that anybody else found that made you consider that we didn't go to the moon? I mean, for me, it's the it's the lack of saving shit. That that's suspicious to me. If nothing else, uh, it, it it doesn't equal a conspiracy theory, and it doesn't mean that we didn't go. It does seem a little bit strange to me. I I, I I'm and I'm I'm with you, Brian, on the logic of purging and. It, uh, there must have been still do reams, it. reams of documents, but not a blueprint, not a really nice architectural drawing to put frame and put on a wall to commemorate the event. I, that seems ridiculous to me um, that there wouldn't have been one thing that one scientist didn't keep something that, you know, that it was all destroyed. And maybe they were that paranoid. You know, I, I can't. I wasn't alive then. I wasn't born until 1973, so I don't have a sense really of what that. Well, yeah, especially felt like that, then. that time with the espionage and the and the Russians and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, you mm -hmm. destroy it so they don't get it. I mean, that's yeah, the mean, only really way to do it. So, and, and there that, was definitely there was definitely spying going on. I mean, that was this was the heyday but of. You'd of think that, that you'd put something somewhere so that we could at least recreate the technology. You know, yeah. But, uh, but on the flip side, forward? we were already we were already killing technology so fast at that time. I mean, look how yes. fast we kill that technology really right now. Point. You know, yeah. it's just the it's it, it, it's such a fast thing. Like those blueprints aren't relevant anymore. 
You know, it's like they were talking, they were using fucking radio tubes at this time, you guys. The moment microchips mm-hmm. came into in, in there, all that shit is gone. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Who cares to have a fucking thing about how to build a rocket with radio tubes? We're on microchips and shit now, you know? So it's I have a book about radios with rocket tubes. The old rocket tube. You are an old rocket tube. Man. Somebody has to know how to do that though, and that's why there's still books on how to identify vacuum tubes and all that kind of, that like the, the the old technology, yes, it gets lost, but it doesn't disappear and it doesn't get No, it just ends disappear. up in another country where their stuff. Yeah, well, right, right. Which is why like, I, so yeah, uh, again, if it's primitive technology by today's standards, then why isn't a primitive country doing it that way? Mm-hmm. And and you'd think it's, that it's fifty year old technology. Rid of the they technology. should be able to do it in any other country, right? Yeah. And you think you wouldn't get rid of the technology until you actually had something that replaces it, right? And for them yeah. to just get rid of it prior to having something that can follow it up was yeah, maybe a little early. Do we know when these records were destroyed? No, nobody can actually pinpoint that. Just that it was all destroyed, burnt, you know, incinerated. Wow. Like I said, we were in a very red scare, paranoid time. That is not necessarily yeah. an uncommon thing, especially for top secret stuff. We have, yeah. yeah. And also, I, I, uh, there could still be stuff that we just don't know about that nobody's ever foiled, or you know, nobody like is still it's still in a warehouse somewhere. I mean, they are always constantly discovering documents. They're like, oh, we thought these were gone. Now we found all these old Kennedy papers, or we found all this yeah. whatever. You know, it's like I said, the bureaucracy is nothing if not disorganized. And there could be a whole warehouse of it somewhere in Southern Florida that we just don't even, you know. Yeah, see. they're in Mar-a-Lago, man. They're at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. I know it. <laughs> so Trump's, Trump's got them all in the basement. Man. Oh, I papers, really love looking into this documents, topic. Beautiful documents. Yep. They're great documents. Greatest space <laughs> documents ever. It was, so, it was really fun to, to look into this because I think that for a majority of the U.S. It's a conspiracy theory that people do hear about on a regular basis. That you really don't look at all the reasons why it's one of the big five for sure. The conspiracy exists, and I think that if there's any reason why it exists, it's because we were trying to just be the first, and it took off a lot of that pressure to get it right the first time. You know, and I think that that's a huge, a huge thing. And it, you know, it might have actually made us more successful. If we did wait, and it was, if that first moon landing in 1969 that supposedly everybody saw was fake, it might have made us more successful because we were able to take our time in the future endeavors without the fear of being the first there and making a mistake on the way there. So I, I think I that there's totally agree with that logic. I, I, and, and this again is my own mental conspiracy theory in my head. So if you hear this somewhere else, it was here first on Edging the Truth. It was here first. This crazy started here. This, yeah. This shit, From one man. This shit crazy. What well, we've always said From that one we should have our crazy. own conspiracy theory. So, Well, there yeah. you go. So one long, the moon landing, we landed on the moon, not in 1969. That is what our listeners need to take away from this. Um, that is my opinion. And and I'm happy to to hear, you know, Everybody out because I do think we did went to the moon. You got the reflectors. Yes, give us a call. 917-979-6071. Tell me why you think we went to the moon or when we went to the moon. Um, and, and like I said, I, I, there was a Mythbusters episode years ago where they bounced the lasers off the reflectors. And I, ever since I saw that episode, I was like, oh, well, we went to the moon. You know, it kind of case closed it for me. We, we've been there. We've done it. But when? When did we go? It was, America went full Ricky Bobby uh, this time. If you ain't first, you ain't first last, we had to get at, our, we had to get our other, ass up uh, there. Look at look at when we sent Tom Hanks to space and his mission failed. Remember that when Tom Hanks came back from that mission? See, because we were by the seat of our pants there, and we, you know, the shit wasn't a hundred percent all the time. So oh, there were not had a problem. I mean, I grew up watching the right stuff as like one of my favorite movies about, you know, again, not going to the moon per se, but the space race and, and Buzz Aldrin being one of the main characters in that show and John Glenn and, and Gora Cooper and all. It, it, I loved that because it romanticized what it was then. 
that there was sort of a romantic notion in going to space. And I think that, that by, you know, and, and also let's not forget, we weren't the first ones in space. Yeah. And I think that's, uh, that's another little tiny piece of this puzzle of like why we needed that win of being the first to the moon is that we weren't the first in space. The Russians well, were. We weren't, we weren't so, the first to the moon either. The Russians crash landed their shit on the moon before we did too. That was why we had we to We were there. just the first people on people. the moon. People, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and so, I mean, again, maybe arguing semantics, but that's a big, that's a big thing. It's a big win small, too. Yes, a big step for mankind, etc. Uh, <laughs> and so, that's the, those are the things to me that give the glimmer of of possibility. Uh, and yet again, I feel like with with not any uh, anything really evidentiary to support this, it's really hard for me to to buy into the conspiracy theory part of it. Even with the JFK, uh, you know. Uh, multiple shooters and all that stuff. There's enough evidence to make me go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm 100% open to the possibility of this because there's enough evidence to support it. This one, there's just a lot of good logic to me. Yeah, uh, I agree. With not that. really any, any, and not really any evidence to support it, which is tough. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like the well, Ryan, uh, don't you don't you have some evidence we have to show here though that we uh, that we have some evidence of uh, of filming of the moon landing? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, we do. Before we get out of here, we we've been having fun as we mentioned in the past with doing stuff with the mid journey, and 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 Andy had some amazing success uh, with a couple of fabulous. Uh, one of them is my, one of them is mine, and then one of them was Ganja John. Oh, so one of one of them is Ganja John. Shout out to so our friend Ganja John. Disclaimer. This is AI art. This is not real. This is AI art. These are not it's real, but I guarantee fantastic. you that if we put these online, people would run with it. I guarantee you, if we put these pictures up on the Google image search, it would be in articles. I guarantee that these are really good. Oh, we, we've got to do it. So here's the 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 first one. I'm gonna make sure I get these right because the first the, 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 there's two, and one of them is very classic looking and that would be this one this is mine this is yours i love this i love the style of the suits and the details of the cameras and i mean everything feels really good but this other one except go back to that for a second go back to that for a second look at the look at his hand look at his hand in the front look how many fingers on his hand he has like seven or eight fingers on his hand yes (laughs) never (laughs) never good with fingers it's wonderful So also, the just other for the one, record, for that one, the boots are wrong. Yes, look how small they are at the bottom. He's wearing Nikes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's wearing like those are tight at the calves. Those are like case you know. Yeah. So this other one uh, involves Stanley Kubrick, and what's great is that pretty much everybody looks like Stanley Kubrick in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> look at the weird pointy heads in the back. Like how pointy those helmets are. It really does feel like uh, they're filming 2001 here. You know, like the monolith is off off camera. <laughs> but then the three guys in the back have a completely different spacesuit than the guy in the front with the bowl thing, like he's oh, underwater. No. Yes, yes. We got the scuba guy in the front. Pretty sure he typed in, yeah, it was Kubrick filming the moon landing or something to yes. that effect. So Yes, yes. I love it. I've, it's great. I it really it. is great. We you can, can have post so these much fun and see if they get picked up. I think we should. We should post these and see if people fucking run with them. We could we'll be post basically, them. We should make a bunch of them and just put out our whole fake conspiracy theory about this and see if we can make a conspiracy theory out of Mid Journey. Well, I'll tell you what. We have a website. It's at edgingthetruth.com. And we have all kinds of stuff there in addition to all the episodes. Uh, we have links to our Discord and again to, to the voicemail. Uh, information about each of us individually and links to our web pages and respective <coughs> social media and things. Uh, we have lots of fabulous merch. Maybe we need a couple of pages on our site dedicated to some of our, our specialized theories. The Bigfoot is an alien. We should have a web page for Bigfoot is an alien that is that it has all our stuff. We should have a web page for We Went to the Moon, but when or something like that. And, uh, and yeah, we could put all these pictures on there and start propagating these on the internet. I love that idea. And you know what the main thing is we left on the moon besides these flags and stuff? Lots of garbage. Poop. We left a lot of poop on the moon, yeah. baby. We left poop a lot on the moon. On the moon. Moon, moon poop. That, you see what I'm saying? That's one of my main tenets. We left poop on the moon. That proves we were there. They actually yep. they they threw a lot of things out of the out of the rocket because they needed to get they needed to get weight off of it in order to get yep. it back off 
the moon. So we have a lot of shit up there. Not just not just shit, but lots of shit. Lots literal, of shit. literal, shit. literal, and not literal shit. And that's how we know we've been there. We shit on the moon. Awesome. awesome. Can you say you've shit on the moon? No, we shit on the moon. <sighs> great, great, great. So. Uh, <laughs> Great way to end the episode right there. Just a Jesus lot Christ. of shit. Um, but Andy, tell tell the listeners about the new stuff we got going on. Yeah, so if you haven't oh, yes, yet at this, this point, by the time you are listening to this or watching this, uh, we will have a new type of episode released. Red and I just recorded the first edition of... What is it? <laughs> two, steps <from laughs> two steps from the edge. <laughs> two steps from the edge. Obviously, a great name. That's why I remember it. Uh, no, it is. So it's just a two man short podcast, about twenty minutes, uh, bringing up um, some maybe going back to look at some past topics, maybe bringing some new topics into the fold that we might want to get all of us involved into. Uh, so we're going to a weekly format. Um, and so that will be what is released every other week. Um, really looking forward to it. This first episode, uh, we talked about Bigfoot and an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. And then Red talked about Dracula and some cool experiments that uh, some some scientists are doing currently uh, on some of his DNA and stuff like that. So check that out on all of our platforms. Uh, obviously, follow us on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, at Edging the Truth. EdgingTheTruth.com has got all your links to social media, all of our all of our episodes, uh, like Red said, information about us, stuff like that. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Please like a video, comment, share us with a friend. Really, really helps. Throw us a retweet. Throw us a share uh, if you like what you see. We really, really appreciate it. Trying to really build this thing up this year. Uh, see what we can make of ourselves here. Um, but yeah, it's been a great episode. I think this was a this was a good one. We had some heated debates. I love when Brian and One Lung get at each other. It had to really get. Well, my thanks everybody hard, for boys. listening. Please stay tuned to that new episode. Please like and subscribe this one. And go check us out on our website, yeah. edgingthetruth.com. United States of space. Visit edgingthetruth.com for more information and links to all our social media and podcast directories.